Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a zoning map. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a, a drawing that I have uh, started. And it's really, it's still just a blank drawing, but um, I've already got it named and saved. So it, it, is, it is essentially a, a blank drawing. The first thing we need to do is attach our data. So I'm, again, I'm going to go in and connect data. Um, I am going to first connect my raster data. So again, I'm going to give it a name. We'll call it um, raster images. And we'll pick the source data. Again, the source data being the raster information. I'm going to connect all four of my images and add them to my map. Okay. Now this data will save when I save my drawing. This data will stay connected. So the next time I save it, close it, reopen it, it'll re um, reprocess the images. The connection is still there. The images will be redisplayed. So if uh, is in the form of shape data, if the shape information or partial information was changed, you're still connected to that same file, it'll actually reload the new information. The next thing I'm going to do is add in the data connect, I'm going to add in that shape connection. I'm going to add in the parcels. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to connect, but I'm going to just add to map with a query. So I'm going to query in just the location of everything inside a particular rectangle. So I'm going to just pick my working area here. Go ahead and preview that. And you see that I'm just going to work with the, the parcel data that we, we have here. So again, it's all themed one parcel or one shade. We want to change the color and theme it or actually uh, color it or shade it based on its theme. So if you had to do this with just regular AutoCAD, you're looking at a lot of hatching, uh, a lot of changing colors, that type of stuff, right? So real simply, if I go to the, let's close the data connect box or window, and I'm gonna go to the parcel theme, and we're gonna edit, edit the style of this parcel, parcel layer. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna use a new theme. So I'm gonna come into the new theme here, and you can see that I can choose uh, the number of rules but I also want to theme it based on zone. So I'm going to come up in here and I'm going to go to my zone. And you can see by doing it by a property, it doesn't give me a number of rules. It just finds um, the, the ranges from the minimum value to the maximum value. So I've got these different values that are being shown. The theming the polygons, I'm going to put a style range down here. So I'm going to select the ellipse button here. And by doing that, I get this dialog box. Um, I'm going to change the transparency. We're going to shade it a little bit. But then I'm also going to change the color palette. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose a land use palette that is already predefined. So let's see, I think I want color palette 2. So we're going to choose color palette 2. I'm going to click. Uh, okay for that. And then for the legend, I'm going to enter in, um, we'll say zone table. All right, so I'm giving the legend text a, a label. And then I also want to create uh, label features. Or I actually want to label this op these objects. So I'm going to pick on this ellipse. I'm going to change it to M zone. We'll go ahead and set the, the value to 0.1 for the height or size. We'll go ahead and, and uh, let's tab through this. Okay, so click OK to get out of it. We've got our label ramp and zone. I'm going to click OK and it's going to theme all these parcels based on their zone. So you can see all my parcels are color, colored and have the appropriate zone um, and they're shaded according to that label style ramp. Now under style here, you can go ahead and you can modify each zone. So if you want you know, A2 and AG to be the same color, you just change the style of the swatch that you see here. If you want to change the label, you can go ahead and change uh, that information here. 
So again, I should have just put zone instead of zone table um, in, in, a, in a label legend text. All right, so in here, I can come through and I can modify and, and change this legend table. All right, so this, this is the value that you're gonna see in the legend table. So I'm just gonna go through and modify these real quick. So any, whether it's a swatch or the label itself, you can, you can change that information individually. So as it's been themed out, I'm just gonna go ahead and change change these values. So I'm doing is double clicking or clicking in the swatch, double left clicking to select a table and then hitting the delete key. Okay. So then when I'm done, I've still got my, my zoning information. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to add a legend table. So I'm going to come over here and you can see I have a table that'll show all my data. But if I go to tools, you'll see that I can use uh, or click on create legend. So I'm going to click, uh, click create legend and I'm going to drop my legend into my drawing over here. And now you'll see that I've got the legend. Now you'll notice that it added the raster images as well. So if you turn off the raster images temporarily, create the legend, the raster images won't show up in your legend. But you can also come in here um, and you can actually delete these rows. So if I wanna get rid of the raster images from this table, cause that's all this really is is a table, I can come in here and select these tables. Oops. Let me select these rows. So I'm using my shift key and I can right click and I can go ahead and um, let's go to rows and select delete. So behind me here, you see I've gone to rows and I'm gonna pick on delete. So when I pick on delete, I now have just the legend table uh, that you see here, okay? Again, you can change the title, come in here and change the title of it, whatever you want. All right. So now I've got a really quick zoning map from existing parcel data that I got from the GIS, um, uh, the county GIS. So if you had to do this with just AutoCAD, um, creating shapes, it would take you an awful long time to create this quick little zoning exhibit map.